All right, so uh, this is the uh, PDF Exchange Editor software. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other PDF softwares out there, PDF softwares out there, but uh, this is the one I have. I think it's really useful. Um, and so here's the plan I sent you, and you know we can zoom in. I like holding down Control and then using my middle mouse to zoom in here. A uh, quarter inch equals a foot is the scale. And so I'm gonna zoom back out here and let's take a look. What, what size is this window here? Um, we can go to, let's see, I think comment, uh, which is up here at the top, I click there. Uh, and then we can do distance here, maybe perimeter and area. There's all these measuring tools. So I'm gonna hit distance. And I wonder if it's smart enough to do it automatically. What, what's it gonna give me here? All right, so it's giving me 13 feet. So something's obviously not right yet. What scale does it think we're in? How do we tell it that? Um, hmm. Let's go back to comment. It, it always goes away. I like hitting this little pin button right here. So that's pinned. It won't keep closing on us. How do I tell it? Maybe if I hold down long enough? No. How do I tell it the scale? Uh, give me a second. I'm going to pause and look up how to check. Okay, so I, I googled it. Um, how do you change the scale in PDF Exchange Editor? And they say go over here to, you can see measuring tools is even sort of like highlighted up here now. Format, and we're going to change the scale not one inch to 18 feet. What, what is that? Uh, let's change it to four feet because that's, that's what my scale was, right? All right, we'll go back here to comments. And let's try this distance tool again. So now we can see that this window is, hey, three foot by, you know, five foot. And we've got a little extra guy at the bottom. It's like six foot eight. Oh gosh, how do we change the precision? Where do we see like, one second. Let me pause to see how to format the dimension. All right, so um, here again in scale, I actually dropped down here um, and I changed to one of these already preloaded architectural scales. And so I changed it to the one quarter equals an inch or well, one quarter of an uh, inch equals a foot, my bad. Uh, and now we're getting some more architectural uh, measurements. And again, I think this is overly precise right now. Like at this point of the game, like all I'm looking for is uh, really rough super rough uh, ballpark numbers for how big these, uh, how much these windows might be. You know, how, how big is this behemoth here? You know, this guy is six foot wide by, you know, gosh, that's getting hard to snap, but it seems like it's scaling out to about four feet. And again, you know, ignore the, the sixteenths of an inch. I'm, I'm trying to go with a, a standard size almost all the time. Um, and so, Obviously, things might change a little bit, and you, of course, should not be uh, doing any final estimates or anything that's purchasable based on scaling from these you know, really rough prelims. But hopefully this is uh, with these tools. And again, let's maybe a fresh start uh, as an order here. But if you need help, I can walk you through this one more time. But just not having to put this in a table yet when the owner might make significant changes to the stuff uh, is very, very helpful for me. So give me a call and let me know if this works for you or not.